Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology. Thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for being here, and I appreciate each and every one of you. This little program that I'm going to show you, I just couldn't keep this to myself because I think it's absolutely fantastic. I get asked all the time, is there a way to auto-create a map of your network? And, you know, there are some really expensive ones out there that I found, like the Solar Winds is crazy expensive, and it doesn't work that well. Uh, Unify only works with Unify Gear, and uh, UNMS now has some of the options, but it's clunky. You have to draw the connections yourself and things like that. I found a tool that is $30, and I am going to be buying this for every site. And I, I can't even believe for $30 what this thing can do. So I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to show you on my system you know, what it, what it can do. So a couple things, you do have to have SNMP or there's a, a beta version that supports SNMP two or three. So if you're using SNMP three uh, or two with authentication, uh, you can use that. I've just turned standard SNMP on for this, but I think that you are, I think that you're really going to like it. All right. The name of the software is LAN Topo Log. And it may look rudimentary, but I'm going to tell you that the simplicity of this software is also its, its beauty. And man, I use this to map some ports and I just, I really, really fell in love with this software. Um, you can see that there is a beta build that supports SNMP version 3. There is a portable version and then there is the install version. And so I've got the, I downloaded the, the LAN Topo Log 2. You can also run it as a service if you download the service manager. So we are actually planning on running this as a service in our core and monitoring the network with this. The map can rebuild in real time. You can get alerts. It can email you. I mean... I can't say enough about this program. I'll leave a, a link to this so that you can check this out. But let's fire up the program and take a look at it. So this is um, this is on the network browser, but let me show you how we get there. So I'll go ahead and delete this. I've been playing. When you first get the software and you open it up, this is what it's going to look like. This is the unregistered version. And this range over here under discovery is going to say 192.168.1. Asterisk. So what I did and what you would do, first of all, you have to have SNMP enabled. Either standard SNMP or if you're running that beta version, you need to have SNMP3 configured and you need to know those credentials. So... I'm going to edit this. I'm going to put in the 66 because that's what my network is. And the SNMP read community string, that's all I need is the read string is public. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to discover within all of the ranges. Now it's going out and it is looking at the devices on the network, seeing if they have SNMP with the community public. If it does, it's going to report back. And just so you know, I actually have SNMP turned on on Unify as well. And so this is going out. We're going to get to another video. I do have the gear running in the garage, so I've, I've got the, out in the workshop. So I've got an updated video that needs to be coming out for that. Um, but I had to change things up a little bit. You'll see that video here uh, in the next few days. But... Some of this equipment is out in the, like the 66.229 is out in the, in the workshop. So let's take a look at this. So it found, I turned SNMP on on all these devices. Excuse me, my nose is itchy tonight. Um, and it did find everything with SNMP on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to step two. And what we're going to do is we're going to tell it to col collect SNMP data from the switches. So now it's going to go out. It's going to talk to either, each of the devices and find out how many MAC addresses and what ports those MAC addresses are on. So you can see down at the bottom. Ah, excuse me. You can see down at the bottom the progress down here where it is collecting the SNMP data. And it says that it's got eight switches and 39 MAC addresses on this particular network. 
And now it takes us to step three where we want to discover the topology. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to let that run. And it is going to build that map that you saw the first time. So I'm going to apply the new topology. You can see that it knows that the edge switch is at the top of the network, that the lab switch is plugged into that, and that this switch, or whatever this is, UBNT 66.123, is plugged in, and it tells you the port name. So um, it tells you what what ports are plugged in to you know what port here. Port 5 is plugged into port 1. Port 8 is plugged into port 1. Port 8 is plugged into something. So <laughs> there are a couple devices missing in this chain. You can also see there's a log up here, and I got a yellow bell. So if I click the log over here, it's going to tell us um, that it looks like there's having we're having some issues uh, with discard packets on a switch port. So it looks like looks like there's some things going on. So look, this thing it knew that something was changed since the last time it ran. And then here you can see that off of lab switch, the lab HD and the upstairs AP are on ports 6 and 7. So then you can even, if it's got this little cog next to it, it's got a utility menu that, that comes up here. So here's something else that's really cool. If I click on this switch, right, I just clicked on lab switch over here. I can expand this and it shows me everything about the ports. So it shows me what's plugged into the ports. It shows me uh, the MAC addresses of everything that is plugged into the port. It totally maps out your, your network. And you can come up here and you can look in the service. So you can display the switch location, display the description, display the port name, display the alias. You can change the colors. You can change the SNMP timeout. You can remove devices if there is no activity in 90 days. Then with the discovery, you can come in here and change it. Here's that uh, enable WMI inventory. So if you want to inventory your Windows PCs, this will do it. You can manually edit the connection list. You can publish all of this to a web server. It's fantastic. You can be notified when traffic loads traffic load exceeds a following threshold. You can be notified when there's a per certain percentage of uh, dropped packets. Here is how you can set up the alarm so you can tell it to play. Uh, sound, execute a program, send an email. Here's your email options down here. And then there's the ping monitor here. I'm telling you, for 30 bucks, it doesn't get any better than this. And I will be supporting the author of this software. So I'll put the link down in the description. If you're looking for an easy way to map your network, an easy way to monitor your network, a low cost way, you can even export all of this to a CSV file. It doesn't get much better than this. So that's it for this video. If you think that this software is worth $30 a copy, which I think it's worth at least $30 a copy, the link's down there. It's not an affiliate link. Go on over and you know check this software out. Run it for yourself. It's absolutely fantastic. So low cost. Works as advertised. Works even better. And if you get the paid version, it can actually connect to your Windows machines because we do know like the largest you know, the lion's share of computers in business networks are Windows machines. It can connect to WMI and do an inventory of your network, too, if you pay for it. I mean, 30 bucks per... So are you kidding me? Anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to talk to us on Discord, the link's down there. If you need IT consulting of any kind, if we can't help you, we'll get you to somebody who can, but you can go to h5llc.com down there. Fill out the contact form and somebody will be with you as soon as possible. If you go over to h5llc, make sure that you sign up for the newsletter. The newsletter folks are going to get early access to some things, so make sure you're going over there and signing up for that. If you want to purchase any of the gear that you see us use here on the channel, that Amazon link is down below. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video.